What's going on, guys? I have some breaking news for you guys. So, Luca Vildoza actually has just been waived by the New York Knicks. And this is someone I was like, just watch out for this. I really do think Luca Vildoza is going to be waived. He didn't really impress me much when it came to Team Argentina. He didn't even start for Team Argentina, I believe, when I was watching those games. He didn't get that much of an opportunity when it came to Summer League. So, maybe he was not impressing in those Summer League practices. And also, like, your best ability is availability. And he has not stayed healthy. He wasn't participating in practice. Like, you could look at like the playbook, you could learn all you want, but if you're not actually out there on the court and executing the playbook or executing like the philosophy of Tom Thibodeau, it means nothing. So I kind of saw this coming, didn't really impress me much. I know he shot the three ball well, solid passer of the basketball and an okay defender when it came to overseas. But who do you guys think is going to take that final roster spot? I believe there's one available or might be two now that we cut Luke Vildosa. I think it's one. Dwayne Bacon is someone that I really look out for to make this roster. Right now, he's on an Exhibit 10 contract. We'll see if he ends up being signed to a two-way, playing for the Westchester Knicks, and on the main Knicks roster as well. He really does fit like the mold of a Tom Thibodeau type of player. He's a solid athlete. He has a defensive upside, or he's a solid defensive player. And he also has some upside on the offense side of the basketball. Not the best of player in the world, but to fill out that final roster spot, I would not mind that at all. But let me know down below your thoughts. Did you think this was a surprise? Personally, I didn't. And as always, guys, have a humble day or night. Peace out, y'all.